following podcast is being brought to you by the Defy Life Podcast Network. So you can just lock me up. No, no. Just bury me in the ocean with my ancestors that jumped from the ships. Because they knew death was better than bondage. Oh, you think darkness is your ally? You merely adopted the dark. I was born in it. Molded by it. I didn't see the light until I was already a man. By then it was nothing to me but blind. <laughs> the shadows betray you because they belong to me. In the hell do you think you are? Okay, it's not working out. I'm gonna need the suit back. For how long? Forever. Yeah. Yeah, that's No, 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 please, please, please. Let's have it. You don't understand. This this is all I have. I'm nothing without this suit. If you're nothing without this suit, then you shouldn't have it. Okay? So, Oz. This week, first off, welcome back. Um, I guess we can now call you again our our co-host. You... (laughs) Um, <laughs> it's it's great to have you back um you know you're back shout out to you hey man <laughs> hey, listen i had to get <laughs> We had, we had discussed this. I had to take a little hiatus. We didn't discuss the hiatus. The hiatus is hey, happening. Hey, finishing your cookies before you form a <laughs> sentence, by the way. And, hey, everybody, thank you all. I've missed you all. Man, I really, really miss this. Um, I can tell you, Uncle Oz had some family issues that came up um, oh. in the last week and the week before that. I was out in the, literally, I was on the woods with my, with, literally, I'm telling the truth, I was out in the woods with my friends, <clears throat> and we were at, we were camping in some crazy area, it was very cool, it was like on some, we, we were not beating on some drum in a travel circle, but it was very, it was very mental. He was on his Blair Witch stuff. No, um, you know, yeah, maybe, you know, um, and, and then um, the week before that, I, I Regular guy says I've been gone for three weeks. I say two weeks, but no, no. no listen, listen. It's three <laughs> weeks because we took a week off, and I've put two shows out since then. I know. Okay, so point being, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. I appreciate everybody who has ever listened to us, who will ever listen to us, and. The, my time away was needed and it was good. Um, I um, I'm gonna tell you guys a little weird story real quick before we get into stuff. Um, so I um, and, and once I tell you this, you can easily find me now. So it's no longer Uncle Uncle Oz, but um, I used to live pretty far away in like Ala- in Alaska, you know. Um, and there was an election that came up. And it was super close between the governor, between um, Tony Knowles and this little known mayor of Wasilla. You might, you guys all might have heard of her, or maybe not. Her name's Sarah Palin. Um, so I was bombarded by all these calls by like, you know, oh, vote for Tony Knowles, vote for Tony Knowles, the Democrat, blah, 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 blah. But man, dude... I was so sick. I knew who I wanted to vote for, but I got so sick of all these calls that I got sick of politics. I just took a hiatus for like two weeks. I mean, I voted when I needed to vote, but I just stayed out of everything. So um, I think whether I whether I said it physically or not, I was sick of all this crap about politics. 
about because we know right from wrong. Everybody knows right from wrong. You know, we, we know what's in our self-interest, you know, when I want to hanker down and, and and hold all my stuff together, which is good because you should you have a, you have, it's your self-interest. But we know right from wrong. And so I just was like, I was sick of it. So maybe I, I internalize it and then I externalize it. And I was gone. And but I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. You know, um, you, you've already gone on a rant. You, we haven't even set the table. But it's post Thanksgiving. You should have a table always set because the, the best thing about post Thanksgiving is the leftovers. Yeah. Um. Okay. So you're back. Um. Hey, can you sound a little more enthused about me being back, dude? So. <clears throat> okay. Great. <laughs> you're back. Um. There's a little bit more. Um. Rah rah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't want to disturb the cobwebs that are on you because like, they look great, but okay, that's cool. It's cool. You feel me? You know, nah, I've just been nah. here slaving away, holding it down. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, but as far as today's show, um, that was your big speech back, so there it was. Um, for today, though, Oz, episode 99, the big one. The uh, well, actually, I guess it's not the big one. I guess it's the precursor. Dude, it's the precursor to the big to the one. Big one. Um, we're going to talk about a topic that I saw online that I thought was a really cool topic, and it got a lot of feedback. And that is the top five superhero origin flicks. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it, when I saw it, I was like, "Yeah, that you know, it's very interesting." Because I bet you, people are going to gonna. Are going to have very different lists and very different ideas of what an origin movie is and what qualifies as an origin movie. So, um, Oz, before we get to your five, because I do have my five, what do you think makes a good origin movie? A crisis, whether it's external or internal something that propels that character to go outside of themselves and become more um that's the to me that's the best origin story um because like i i I feel like an origin story is definitely like a seed that's planted in the ground that's watered um it, it 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 has to wait for the water to circulate into the seed. And then there is a crisis where it pops up through the, through the earth and then it starts to sprout. So I think that, you know, I think that all of them, um, the, the makings of a good story of anything, even origin or whatever is like, there's a crisis and how that character deals with that crisis, not overcomes the crisis, how that character deals with that crisis. Okay. Um, so, you know, let's, Let's not give away our full list, but I did tell you to comprise your five movies. So let's. Hey, sorry. Um, for yourself, what do you think makes a great one? So for me, a good origin story is kind of on the same lines, but for me, it's more about a purpose. You know, they're kind of, for me, a good origin story is there's a reason for this character to be this way. Because a lot mm. of times when we get an origin story, it's, or at least there was a time when it was kind of, it would come after we met the, the character. You know, we would meet the character and maybe a quick cameo or maybe in a team up movie like the X Men. You know, we got Wolverine Origins way after we got the X Men. So, you know, something like that. And so for me, it's all about a purpose. You know, what's the reason that this character is getting these abilities or becoming mm-hmm. this superhero? Um, mm-hmm. that's very important to me. And I know a lot of people don't like the movie, but that's why a movie like man of steel is very, like resonates with me because he has a purpose and he gets that purpose and he's that purpose is becomes more cl- becomes clearer as he gets older and little things like that. But, um, so yeah, purpose is very important in an origin story. Mm-hmm. Um, so Oz, let's, let's give away, 
you're five and four. So your bottom two of your top five origin movies, and I'll give my bottom two. Should we set the table? No, no, no. We're going to do that before we set the table, and then okay. we'll save the top our top three for our main course. Okay, say, say, say again to me. Say again. So I want you to give me, so you know you got your five movies, your top five mm-hmm. superhero <clears throat> origin movies. I want you to give me your bottom two, five and four. Man, the, the, I, I don't really have an order, but, but I, I do want to tell you that I, I, that my that my two, your bottom just, two. Ah, man. So you don't have to have an order. I just need your bottom two. Okay, sure. Man of Steel and Brightburn. Okay, I did not see that coming. So Brightburn is one of your top five comic book origin movies of all time. Um, the movie ones, right? Yeah, movies. Yeah, absolutely. Because okay. um, <clears throat> I, I, I want to say this. And, and Man of Steel, correct? Yeah, because okay. listen, I want, you know, we've been doing this for a long time. And yeah, before the... Before, <clears throat> We've been we me and you have been doing this for a long time. Debating back and forth about comics before we had the podcast. Oh yeah, sure. and, and you know, and, and um, th- there are some times that I've been very not open to this Man of Steel idea because of everybody saying that it was it had some religious overtones and whatever. And I just I, I was really not open to it. And then like recently in the last week or so, they played it again. I just watched it. You know, it was like on some like brick commercials, but I just watched it. And um, man, you know, Henry Cavill as an actor is awesome. And I, I just really appreciated it. And I appreciated it more because I, I was looking at it through the lens of how um, someone who I respect looks at it. And and I was like, Ugh. you know, even I, you know what? I didn't even get to the fight scenes and stuff before even got to the fight scenes. Everything else building up to it was just like, what? This is, yeah, this is cool. So that's why I did that. And, and I think Brightburn just leaves you very hungry for something's got to happen. This can't be. Wait, what's going to go on? You know, is I like that part of it. You know, that's why. So. Yes, Brightburn. That's uh, that's 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 a very high ranking for that movie. Um, okay, uh, so Brightburn and Man of Steel are your bottom two, but they are in your top five all time superhero origin movies. Very interesting. Yeah. Um, uh, my bottom two, my or my bottom, my four and five, are Shazam and Spider Man. No, those are good. Um, which which Spider Man? Uh, Toby Maguire. Huh. Okay. Toby Maguire. I, uh, you know, obviously that's a, it's one of the cornerstones. It's one of the pillars. Now, a couple names that have been thrown out, and I'll get to it more when we get to the main course, and I'll go over it because uh, I put this on Twitter and in our Facebook group, which I will also talk about as well. Um, Deadpool might have to take the place of Shazam because Deadpool <clears throat> is a classic and. That is a fantastic origin story. Blade, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Those are also some names that have been thrown around. Um, did, did anybody? Did anybody? <clears throat> sorry, apologies. Did anybody throw out Conan the Barbarian? No. I think that's a really good or- origin story too. Well, it's not in your top five either. So it is in my top five. Oh, so you just gave it away. Way to go! I tricked you yeah. into that one. Um, <laughs> not, not, not a trick. It's oh, you know, yeah, I did. Yeah. Trick or treat. Um, well, I mean, we we're gonna get to that anyway. But yeah, this is it's gonna be very interesting to see what your list is. The Brightburn one that that definitely threw me for a loop. Um, I, I know we're getting kind of deep into the show, but Oz, real quick before. Um, before I set the table, let me read you the list that actually inspired this question. Their original five was number one, Captain America, First Avenger. Number two, Wonder wow. Woman. Number wow. three, Iron Man. Number four, Batman Begins. Number five, Spider Man. Number six, Man of Steel. So that was the mm-hmm. original list, and that kind of sparked me to be like, huh, I wonder what everyone else's would be. So, yeah. That's kind of what inspired the list. Mm-hmm. 
um, at Mr. Nice Guy eighteen fifty eight. Shout out to you. Um, so before we get too deep into things, Oz, it's been a while for you, but allow me to set the table. This is taking knee for Marvel versus DC. I am your, I am your host, regular You're, Scott. You, I, what, are, what are you? <laughs> Oh, I, I, that's what I get for uh, yeah. That was that was, that was it's, instant karma. It's been a while. Yeah, <laughs> that was that was instant karma right there. Let's try that one again. You know we're not gonna edit that out. But uh, this is taking me from Marvel versus DC. I am your host, regular <laughs> Scott. I am here with my co-host after a month off, <laughs> Ozzy Killmonger. The Comic Connoisseur, man, I haven't even said your name in a while. Wow. The Comic Connoisseur, the Mighty Oz and Killmarker. Oz, whew, that was rough to get through. What's going on? What is up, good people? What is up, good regular Scott? Man, I don't know, but that was that was rough. Yeah, it, it, it didn't roll off the tongue, man. I'm sorry. Hey, will, you, <laughs> will you be ready to announce us for episode 100, which is coming up next week? I don't know. Are you going to be here for episode 100? You, well, don't, you don't need to worry. Well, listen, well, you don't need to worry about me being able to enunciate it. You just need to worry about showing up. I hear you, but I'm asking, do, do we need to find a replacement for you for 100? Well, I, I won't be replaced because I'll be I have here. five ready. Because you what? Oh, I'm sorry. What were you saying? No, what was what were you saying? You said you had five ready. You mean five? You had five people ready for you to come in? Because I had I had to get people ready for you. Oh, oh, okay. For your yeah, no this... call no shows. <laughs> <laughs> your your no call no shows. We skipping a step, and we are we are that is we are skipping the verbal punishments, and we are documenting that. How are we? How are we documenting this? Oh, I, I've already put it in the computer. Let's strike one. Right. So when people say, when people when people say that, I put it in the computer. I like people saying, "Oh, yeah, see, yeah, I, I took your name down." And never, what'd you do? I put it in. The, I put it in the book. Wait, what? Wait, what'd you do? I put it on the board. I put it on the board. It was dry erase board. And let me tell raining. you, if you get a check mark before you leave, you got you got double. I'm just saying, man. Just you know, saying. I, I got you, dude. I got you. Um, yeah, famous last words. I got you. Uh, and you can find us on Twitter at knee for Marvel vs DC. That's the number four. You can email us at knee for Marvel vs DC at go dot com. Um, Thrash Daddy, you can go ahead and email us again. Your your homeboy <laughs> Uncle Oz is back. Yeah. You know, I know, I know you. Uh, you've been waiting on him to come back. That's your guy, and I get it. He's back, so you can send him an email because we'd love to hear from you. Um, Oz, while you were gone. The Killmonger conversation was changed thanks to Macho Man Vandal Savage. They are now known as the regular thoughts. No. No. We, 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 we'll, we'll, we'll change it back. We'll change it back. Uh, and, and actually, Oz, we have a regular thought that came in. So we have to do it because the people asked for it. Okay. So. Wait, what, what, what does a regular thought mean? Well, a regular thought is just a thought from regular Scott. Oh, okay. So, so, oh, oh, wait. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I, I, I have been excommunicated. Excommunicado. Excommunicado. <laughs> so, now it's regular Scott tell. Oh, well. Yeah. So, so, so pretty much, yes. pretty much your, your show got canceled and it got, re- and I replaced it. As a hey, as things do, man, hey, it's the time of the season. Hey, uh, yes, it's the yes. it's the Jay Leno Jimmy Fallon feud. <laughs> no, no, no. There's no feud. I, 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 I graciously concede. <laughs> well, no, Oz. Don't don't worry though. As always, our good friend Philip Darnell sent in a Killmonger conversation. So, thank you, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're good to go but we so we got a killmonger uh we got a regular thought this is this is going to be an interesting conversation things, things have changed since you've been gone just letting you know there's a new sheriff in town mm-hmm. i believe bob marley summed it up best here we go 
I did shoot the sheriff, but I did not oh. shoot the deputy. Okay. Are you the deputy? Oh. I'm or are you? Or are you? Or are you Bob Marley? You just singing the song? No, no, I'm the deputy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Freedom came my way. All right, all right. I started downtown. Yeah. Um, so all of a sudden, I saw Sheriff John Brown aiming to shoot me down. So I shot. I know it's a Bob Marley song. Listen, dude, it, it it's not the song. song that's the issue. Oh, it's, <laughs> it, it ain't the song that's the issue. It's, um, I'm just saying, but listen, um, and also you can find us on Facebook. We now have a Facebook group, we have a great community. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to keep it live. We're trying to keep content on there. So go join our Facebook group, the Take an E for Marvel vs. DC Facebook group. Like the page, join the group, be a part of the conversation. We'd love to interact with you more. Um, Oz, tell everyone where to find you on your social media that you check once a week. Go ahead, Oz. I don't know where to find you. <laughs> or, or don't tell him where to find you. You can find Oz at Ozzy Real. That is O Z Z I E R E A L. That is at Ozzy Real. Uh, go follow him. He is on the road to 25 because I think he lost three followers while he was in my head. So um, let's let's get Oz back to 25. Wait, 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 wait yeah, be so cruel, dude. And, and if he's past 25, let's get him to 30. At Ozzy Real. Yo, yo, for real, for real. Okay. For real. Okay. Why you gotta be like that? You, you straight up. Dude. Just let me. Just let me take. That. Just let me take a, a let me take my shots and it'll be wait, over wait, wait, with. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You've done. There's nothing left of the corpse. You've done taking it, dude. Okay. Seriously, All right. Done, no more shots. You done did your buck shot with your shotgun. There's nothing All right. left, All right. dude. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm done. going to. I'm going to check. Why don't you go ahead and Why don't you go ahead and give yourself a regular talk? You want to? You don't. You don't want to do news tidbits. No, you no, no. I want to hear your regular thought first. I thought you wanted to talk about what you had on the table. No, 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 no. I, I need to get this. I need to get you out the way. Okay. <laughs> so you want to hear what the regular thought is? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. And then, then I'm gonna and then I'm talking about some deliciousness. Okay. Um, so our regular thought comes from our good friend who is part of the Fandom Fusion podcast, Hawk the Horrible. Um, Hawk asked because, by the way, Oz, he was, you know, I said I didn't know when you were coming oh, back. I, I read that whole thread. No, 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 you didn't. You're not in this thread. This was a, no, no, no. This was a I, private I DM. The, I read the Twitter um, that said, oh, my God, he's been AWOL for three months. What the? I'm well, like, it, didn't, it, didn't say, it didn't say three months. It, it, it was pretty dramatic. It said three weeks. It was pretty true. dramatic. Well, three weeks is true. But anyway. No, I think um, it said a month. No, it might have said a month. Um, Hawk the Horrible, he asked, do you think Krillin in his prime could defeat the Bat Family and could Perfect Cell defeat the Justice League? If not, who stops him? Hashtag regular thoughts. Um, ladies, and let's, let's go ahead and, and use the hashtag regular thoughts. Um, if you have any questions that you'd like to ask, use the hashtag regular thoughts. And um, this would be a regular thing for the show. Pun intended. Um, as far as the question goes, do I think Krillin in his prime could beat the Bat Family? I think Krillin could beat probably just about anybody in DC, to be honest with you. Um, I, I think the Dragon Ball Z characters are just on a whole nother level. That's just me personally. So yeah, Krillin would destroy all the Bat Family. Real quick. Um, one Kamehameha blast in the back cave while they're all there. That's done. <laughs> I mean, that, that's, that's all that would happen. They would just get them all in the cave. You would load up a Kamehameha and <laughs> that's it. <laughs> he would get Alfred out though. So, 
Um, as far <laughs> as far as perfect sell, uh, yes, because I think every time they would quote unquote destroy him or think they destroyed him, because as we've seen, you know, when Goku did his real big power up instant transmission command, Maya, where he was pointing it at the Earth and then he vanished and appeared right underneath him and he blew everything off like his complete upper torso was completely gone. Um, we saw that he doesn't need a lot to regroup and you know re and grow back. So I think he would just keep growing back, and he has you know the cells of a Saiyan. So that means he would keep getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And I just think they would just be juicing him up. And he's much smarter than a um, than a Doomsday. You know, he's much smarter than that. So he. He would probably want to be destroyed multiple times because he knows he would come back stronger. So I think Cell would have a field day with them and would toy with them. He would have Cell games, and he would go through them one by one. Um, so, yeah, I think Cell and Krillin would destroy them. Uh, hope I, You know, speaking of Dragon Ball Z, since we don't get to talk about it very often, uh, I hope Cell is somebody that somehow makes an appearance in um, Super. I don't know how they would do it. They did it... You know, with a few of the villains, but I'd like to see Cell again. There you go, Oz. There's my regular thoughts for the day. <clears throat> Impressive. There you go. Regular thoughts. It could be a regular thing. Hashtag, hashtag regular thoughts. <clears throat> hashtag regular thoughts. That's got a nice little thing to, you know, a nice little ring to it. The hashtag yes. regular thoughts. Um, so shout out to uh, Macho Man Vandal Savage. Shout out to Hawk the Horrible being the first of the regular thoughts. What rhymes with regular? What's that? I don't know. I'm thinking. Uh, regular, you could go with secular. Um, yeah. Uh, that That's all I got. Benecular? No, um, Is that what you're about to say? Benecular? Yeah, benecular. Benecular feels, feels like it should be a word. Nah, what would it mean? Um... Like looking through something with binoculars at first glance. Can I get a what? What? All right. Um. So Oz, that, that binocular view was weird until I was able to examine it again. Yep. Um. So. Oz, let me ask you, do you want to go to the news tidbits or do you want to briefly? Oz, that's the key word. Briefly. Talk about Thanksgiving food. Oh, I can briefly talk about Thanksgiving food. Okay. Then you got it. You said you wanted you wanted the floor. You wanted some time to uh, talk about Thanksgiving and talk about the food. And now that is it. Well, Initially, it was a really awesome idea until I uh, had a couple more beers, and I was like, ah, that's not so great. Um, but I understand that you had mac and cheese and some wings, correct? Right? Yes, I had my mother's great, incredible mac and cheese, which I talked oh about God, last week so on delicious. the show. See, uh, even her brother so agrees. Um, yeah, it's, it's fantastic. So my mom made me a a full platter to myself of the, the mac and cheese. When you got home, did you nuke it again? Or did you just eat it like without like heating it up in the oven? Or oh, no, it? I definitely nuked it again. Definitely uh, warmed it up. The, did you nuke the mac and cheese and the wings? Well, no, I, I ate the wings. I said I had some food there with mom and men. Uh, oh, with so my you mom didn't and take dad. any wings back? No, I didn't take any wings back. I just took the mac Why and cheese not? back. Well, because 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 that, my dad said that uh, he wanted those wings. <laughs> so, uh, he said, "You already taken the mac. You can't take the wings too, son." Oh, man, I can't yeah, be mad at that. Man, I can't be mad at that. She literally does amazing for both. Yeah, she does. But I'll take the mac and cheese if I have to choose between the two. So when you nuked when you nuked them again, they were they were creamy and delicious again, weren't they? Fantastic. God dang, yeah. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. um I I, uh, I I made a plan. I went to the grocery store yesterday, um, and I um, got my son a triple layered slice of like chocolate cake, just because I saw it and I knew he wanted some because he loves tiramisu. And I was like, I do not see tiramisu, but I'll get you this. 
But um, <clears throat> so my son uh, eats whatever we eat. Like if we eat like adult stuff, he eats it too. He has a really good palate about stuff. He'll tell you this is awesome or this is horrible. My wife, by the way, is a vegan plant based. And me, I'm working towards like Nirvana, but I like, I'm a carnivore. So I didn't want to have a turkey or whatever. So what I did was I said, I wanted everybody to have exactly what they wanted. So um, I made my wife um, these um, mac and cheese. Oh, so that's, that's a lot. I made her um, these potato, these mashed potatoes with oat milk so she can't do dairy. And then with like light seasoning, uh, sauteed a bunch of vegetables for her, which were really good for her. And then she made this gravy and she had that. My son had, um, sorry, we're letting, we're letting the dogs in. Uh, my son, he had, um, I made him uh, some air, air fried french fries and he had a little bit of something else in made of, which I'll get to later. And he also had, um, uh, um, um, what else did you, what else did you have besides the, uh, air, air dried brown um, fries? And the corn. Oh, <clears throat> I'll get that. Thank you, man. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so I, I, um, he also had, he said, dad, will you make me Mexican corn? So I made Mexican corn, just baking it in the oven, um, putting it in the oven, and it was a bunch of awesome seasoning and loads, loads of butter just searing that corn up at a hot heat. It was awesome. And then me, I'm going to go vegan in 2021, January 1st. That's a promise, I swear. But until then, I got this huge porterhouse steak um it was probably like four inches by four inches and two inches thick and i buttered it seasoned it let it rest for like eight hours um this morning um and then i put it in the hot ass grill seared it and just let it cook took it out put it on the um chopping board and just let it rest didn't touch it for five minutes while I just kept cooking inside. Slight, sharpened up my knife and sliced it. And it was, uh, man, it was so good. It was so freaking good. I, I, I had seasoned it earlier with um, cumin, um, smoked paprika, salt and pepper, uh, oregano, a little bit of basil, um, some garlic. I, I went and I just went to town. I went crazy. Um, chili peppers and it was it was pure decadence. And I look forward to tomorrow because I'm going to have that with scrambled eggs. But um, it was delicious. Okay, um, cool. All right, so let's get to the news tidbits. Did, did, did I bore you with that? You that was the time you asked for. I gave you the time that you asked for. Wow, man! I, like it didn't make you like go, man. I, w- I wish I would have had some steak. Wait, no, really? Yeah, oh, dude. Nah, I had a good Thanksgiving. I was good. For what I ate. Do, do you do you eat steak? Yeah, I eat steak. Okay, okay. What's your favorite type of steak? How do you like your steak? <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll take it well done. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're gonna have a steak <laughs> if you're if you're if you're going to. Have a piece of oh, like God. meat. Yeah, you're going to have it well done. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh man. Any particular reason why? Why not? It's, I mean, that's that's the uh, question. I right? can give you the reasons why not. Okay. Like for me to say, um, so. We, when you're cooking I, I, I do mean the meat, you're, you're cooking it all the way through and you're not like, it, man, um, there's a, there's a, there's a lot of like, uh, I hate to say it, you know, for better, or for worse, there's a lot of like savory juices in it. Now, listen, I ain't, I ain't gonna go like some beef tartare F 
fuck that. No. <laughs> Ever. But yeah. um, um but, listen, but like it's, rare it's, it's not a big like, like like a little medium rare dude, like with like like a little like like seared hard on the outside with a little pink on the inside. That's delicious. Okay. Cool. Um let's get to the news tidbits. Do you like mashed potatoes with yours? <laughs> yeah, I do. I do like mashed potatoes. <laughs> Are you serious? Do you, do you like French fries or mashed potatoes? Mashed potatoes. Gravy? No. No gravy. No gravy. You just put some butter in there. So you want? Oh, you want butter in your mashed potatoes and your steak hardcore? Do you want any vegetables with? I'd probably get my steak medium rare. What's your what's your what's your perfect? We'll get to the news in, in like two minutes. What's For your what? perfect? For what? <laughs> What's your perfect steak meal? I'm not, listen, I'm not that big of a steak guy. Okay, okay. Do, do you do like A1 sauce or anything, or like Bernays um, or anything like that? I mean, A1's fine. Okay. Wait, so what's your, what's your perfect favorite meal to have? <laughs> You've already, you, I'm sure we've gone over this multiple I'm times. I'm asking you again, dude, because you don't like steak, but do you, so would it be chicken wings? It'd be pizza. <sighs> <sighs> Alright man, let's get to the new tidbit dude. What's wrong with pizza? No, pizza's great. Like what, cheese or what? Pep. Oh. Oh. Would you so so um shout out to Richmond and shout out to eight and a half. Um, Bump Richmond. Bump eight okay. and a half. No, <laughs> No, let me stop. Let me, let me stop. <laughs> yeah, you really should stop. Those cats work hard, dude. No, nah, I don't yeah, even know what eight and a half is, but let me I stop. Know. Don't bump, don't, y'all. Don't be a jerk, dude. But bump Richmond, half, though. Bump Richmond. Richmond's what? Okay, eight and a half on Starbury Street, dude. They have, and this is right up your alley, dude. They have pepperoni and mushroom. Oh, I hate mushrooms. Ah. Why can't okay. I? Just, why can't I just have a pepperoni pizza? Why everybody <laughs> always be trying to add something to my pepperoni pizza? Every time I tell them I want a pep, they like they look. No, no, no. Because listen, every time I tell somebody like, what kind of pizza you like? Pepperoni. Oh, you should add this to it. No, I shouldn't. I'm not bringing up trauma to you. No, you are. You are though. <laughs> Forget I even said mushrooms. God, their pepperonis are like okay. Two inches in diameter, dude. Oh, man. You got me all fired up. I think you need to get a glass of water. You need a glass of wine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This guy, like, talking about some pepperonis and all. What, what, hey. I'm like, sir, <sighs> sir, sir, I just suggested. No, no, no. You were trying to get on my rights. And, no, oh my you were trying to upsell me on my toppings. I only want one top. You know what? Where's your manager? I want the pizza on the house. So, Domino's or Little Caesar's? Pizza Hut. Oh, terrible. And then number two is Little Caesars. Fuck Pizza Hut, dude. Then we go Papa John's. Then we go oh. Domino's. Actually, actually, no, no, I will give you that. Domino's has been on the come up. So I'll switch Little Domino's Caesars over. Caesars and Domino's, then Papa John's at the very last. No, I, I'll give you that. But, but Pizza Hut is number one. And we tell you, dude, shout out to Ariana's who's right around the block. Yo, right you here. keep talking about these local places that nobody Man. knows what you're talking about. Hey, hey, yo. But while we're doing that, shout out to Christians. Um, appreciate the free pizzas. Um, I also, here's your plug. Check out Christians. Uh, you could, they're open Wait. late. Uh, yep. Free pizza. Yeah, I, I, we, we decided if I plug the show, I get free pizza. So uh, <laughs> shout out to Christians. Oz. Shout out to Christians, bro. <laughs> no, let me stop, man. But Christians, how let me know. Let me get a free pizza. No, um, oh, man. <laughs> hey, yo. I'm, I, my whole jam nowadays is I love I love a pizza joint that has a delicious steak sub, dude. And Ariana says that. Yo, I'm we like, ain't talked about food for like a few weeks. And then all of a sudden you come back on the show and we start talking about food. Because I'm back on the show, <laughs> I, I I love food. I do you need a food segment? Do you need a food segment? Do we need to, since you lost the Killmonger conversation? Do we need to replace it with a food segment? Tell me soon, and I didn't lose the Killmonger conversation because Phil has come through it. Well, te- listen, I was be- no, 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 listen, because I was being no, nice. No. Because Phil didn't technically say it was a Killmonger conversation. He didn't. He didn't say what it was. So I was being nice and giving it to you. Okay. Okay. All right. We 
was splitting hairs, man. I ain't even got time to argue with you, man. Yeah. I'm counting my blessings. It's like blessings keep falling on my lap, dude. <laughs> All right. Why, why I feel like you wanted to start rapping right there. <laughs> I, I thought you were about hey, to start spitting. Nope. See, <laughs> <laughs> I just knew you were about to start breaking out in rhymes right there. Yeah, see, see, see just, that, that is your own psychosis. <laughs> Maybe. Because <laughs> I, just, I just knew you were about to burst out of rhyme. Nope. All right. No, um, no, a hey, hey, pepperoni. Nope. Yeah, shout out to pepperoni. Listen, we need to at least do one news tidbit. And then we, no, then dude, we can go back to, to the, the food. News I asked you to do that, dude. All right. What's your favorite kind of pizza, though? Before we go? <laughs> um, I, got, I love that freaking pepperoni and mushrooms, but um, on, the, on the other side of it, I'll take a mushroom and cheese. A mushroom and cheese is always good for me. Um, word. Okay. Um, here's a news tidbit. Thor four. God. <laughs> Cause like, this was like 10 years ago when they like four, three came out. Um, Thor four thunder and love is rumored to have an Avengers light feel. Star Lord has already been confirmed to reprise his role. Guardians of the galaxy are rumored to show up and there are going to be other, uh, Marvel names that show up in this movie. Oz, first of all, are you excited to watch this on Disney Plus? And second of all, what do you think about this Avengers light feel? What like whatever, man. Like, um, pump something out now because I'm getting sick of it all. We got Mando. They give well, us Mando. It's, it's fine. Wandaverse and everything else. But I'm telling you, tread lightly, folks, because Marvel, you're you're slowly becoming like Star Wars to me, where I'm like, I don't care. Yeah, but you care but, about um, Mando. Oh, I, of course I do. But but you know but 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 uh, yeah, let's see let's see what happens. Um, it'd be nice just to have the Guardians together and to see how uh, Gamora interacts with everybody too. Yeah, no 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 question, no question. Um, Sylvester Stallone is rumored to have a role in the Suicide Squad movie. As what? Exactly. Oz, what would you like to see Sylvester Stallone play? As Wildcat, the boxer. Literally, so he takes off his mask at the end and people, he reveals himself as Rocky. That's a great idea. <laughs> you love it, don't you? <laughs> yeah, that's 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 and listen because he's a got cheap way to do something, right? He's got the build for it too, and he's got the net. The you know he can box like I, that's and, a, and, that's and, a great and idea. He, and he can be the most lethal killing machine with a mask on at the very end when he takes off his mask. He's like, oh my god, it's it's Rocky. <laughs> that's that's um, <laughs> Oz. Every every now and then. Every now and then. Me. You miss me. I know you miss me. It was fine. I miss I miss the good ideas, and that was definitely one of them. I was, that's a great idea. That's a million dollar idea. That's a great idea. I would love for him to be Wildcat and just be knocking people out. He's just, just like, boxing hey, cats. It's no superpowers, no gadgets. He is straight up brawling, and like you see him punch someone, and like their face like. like <laughs> but jaw moves like but listen, away. at first, at first, he's got to get beat down a little bit. At first, like you know, he's yes, got to get dude. beat up first. He's got to get yes. punched in the face at first, and then next thing you know, he starts, you know, body shots, body shots, just like he did with the Russian. He starts chopping him down with dude, body shots, yes, and he dude. gets him in the yeah. corner, and he's wearing him out. And Balboa's going crazy. Yeah, we got to get all that. You can let him. You can take him out and just like let him reveal. And like he, as he dies, the, the big reveal. It's like whoa. And, Come on, and man, listen, you're right. gonna you gotta have a scene with him in the corner, and he's just going through taking everybody out, and he's just pummeling this dude, and everybody's looking at him like, "Oh my god, he's wild." He's a cat. He's wild. He's wild. <laughs> this guy's a wild cat. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's my that's that's what that's my wish list for 2020. But a, I, that's whatever. A, that's a great call, Oz. Welcome back. <laughs> Now you you've officially earned your spot back with that one. You you are you are back, baby. You're back. He's back. That's what I'm you talking you about. You need a sound effect for that, man. Yeah, let me. Uh, yeah, I'm. You know, hey, Oz, I need you. I need you to rant for like two minutes while I look up. But he's back. Sound effect. <laughs> well, 
Well, I mean, uh, I, I would just say, yeah, you know, let, let's see what happens with, with this Suicide Squad. Because, like, man, it's a host of, like, lots of folks, man. It's like, man, um, yes, we have a uh, $100 million budget. Um, $10 million went to the actual production. The rest of it was the salary we paid for everybody to be on this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll see what we'll see what happens, but um, I'm, I look forward to it. I think um, Gun will add some like a different little flavor to it. I think um, and making things like pop a little more. But yeah, the, let's see who our characters are, and just you know, I would love to have a little bit more expanded stuff on Amanda Waller too and see what she plays in all this because um, I bet you if anything serves me right if the way the uh, pseudo PC folks are over at Marvel and DC knowing that we have a the first female black uh, VP they're going to probably give Amanda a more substantial role in something in this you know so it would be interesting to see what happens with her you know I'd always envision her as a VP, not as a president, but as a VP, the power broker, kind of black female uh, Dick Cheney and stuff. Yeah, I, I can't find the clip. Um, great. Uh, nice well, I rant. was trying to rant. I was nah, trying to rant no, I, I can't. I, I can't find it. I can't find the short little soundbite <laughs> of someone saying, he's back. He's back, baby. He's back, baby. <laughs> The champ is here. I don't think th- what. I'm the, 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 I, no, no, I'm the champ. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> we were, what did I just tell you? I told you earlier when we were off. The, when we were off podcast that the only difference between a champ and a chump is you. Listen, man, you go stop disrespecting me on my show. You don't. Oh. You don't get to just hop back on the show and start disrespecting me. Man, this guy's like, like treating me like Jon Snow. You you gotta earn your way back. I'm like, man, dude. You hear me out here in the hey, night watch. Hey, you, listen, listen, I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna be real with you. Your watch almost ended. <laughs> your watch is over. Hey, I'm I'm gonna just keep you one under with you. Your, right, your watch I'm almost keep one ended. Under you do winter is coming. Okay, that's that's fine. Your watch is almost over though. Oh, dude, that's hardcore, man. That's life. That's life. Is that like? I'm back, baby. All right. Um, Dude, and and the last, the last hey, bit of the hey, last bit of news you, tidbit. You do understand that the whole time you, you've been recording. And the last bit of news is <laughs> Peter Stormore has said that a Keanu Reeves led Constantine Two is happening. Oz, are you excited about that? Anything Candy Reeves does, I'm always excited about. Okay. Um, whoa, somebody went underwater. Wait, what happened? I don't know what happened, Oz, but I heard a lot of from your hands. Uh oh, wait, hold on. Can you hear me now? Nope. Here we go. And we are about to take a quick commercial break. Can you hear me? Oz, this show has gone completely off the rails. I want you to know. Welcome back, but oh my God, what has happened? We'll be right back. Welcome to the Anything, Everything, and Nothing podcast with Lynn and Kim. Join us as we discuss the latest in everything from entertainment and current events to the craziness that is our real life. Let's laugh, let's live, let's talk about it. New episode every Tuesday on the Defy Life Podcast Network. And remember, if you're not defying life, then what are you doing? Lynn and Kim. And we are back. Make sure you are checking out the Anything, Everything, and Nothing podcast. The first ladies of Defy Life. The battleground champions. The former battleground champions. Um, Oz, would you like your Killmonger conversation for today? Hell yeah. 
Not getting it. Um, let's go to our main course. Okay. Okay. Uh, your Killmonger conversation from our good friend Philip Darnell. Uh, it's always a pleasure to hear from you. And uh, with the passing of Thanksgiving and the holiday of Christmas happening, what about Christmas are you looking forward to in personal and comic-wise? Hashtag leave Nick alone. Hashtag Star Trek rocks. Hashtag Nick needs a Starfleet uniform. That's a really cool question. Um, Thank you. I'm looking forward to seeing my family all together again. Um, if not this Christmas, the next Christmas. Um, I'm looking forward to <clears throat> a little more stability in all of our lives, um, whatever that means. Um, comic book wise, um, I, I, I'm still riding out this Jonathan Hickman X Men thing. Whatever he writes for those guys, I'm, I'm all aboard. Um, yeah. Um, I've been on uh, Hoopla, H O O P L A, and it will like uh, divert you to your local library, and you can check out whatever online things that they do. And so, my local library lets me check out eight books a month, and they have a vast digital comic book um, selection. So I've been like digging on that. I'm looking forward to when they uh, get their new selection, so I can get on some. Um, I, I, I really been on a means to want to reread. Um, um, oh man, um, Jupiter's Legacy um, and Jupiter's Circle. I think it is called for the for all what all that means. So yeah. Okay, cool. Um, very nice Kiermonger conversation, Philip. It's always a pleasure to hear from you. We look forward yeah, to And I miss you, Philip. It's always a pleasure. Yeah, he didn't miss you. We had we had good feelings. Okay. Well, well Philip, I like, as a I, I didn't need the regular Scott's side comment. I just let you know I miss you, man. Uh, touche. He I'm he I'm sure he missed you too. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Touche. There you go. Um so Oz Let's do One's Gotta Go, and then we are going to get to our main course before we wrap up. Okay. It's been a pretty wild show. I, uh, I hope you know that the show has gone off the rails. I, I would expect nothing less when you're um, the captain. Well, the captain's been doing just fine. It's when this, when this co-pilot decided to show back up. Next thing you know, we're tilting to the left and we're sliding to the right. I believe you be we're tilting to starboard and we're sliding to we're 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 tilting to port and we're sliding to starboard. That's fine. Um and also I, I, I forgot to mention, don't forget to leave us voicemails for our hundredth episode or just any episode or you just wanna tell us how you feel, whether you, you like us or you think we should just give this up and not do it anymore. Or if you think that like Brainwood like Brain <laughs> Scott could treat me a little bit better. Or if you think that Leave, leave us a message at 804-518-6631. That is 804-518-6631. We've already got voicemails lined up for the 100th episode. It's going to be a lot of fun. So leave us a voicemail. Um, you can congratulate us. You can tell us to suck it. You can tell us absolutely anything you want. We want the smoke. Um, you can even tell Oz whether you were happy that he was gone or whether you missed him when he was gone. The choice is yours. We're playing them all. Yeah. Yeah. Oz, I missed you. Man, there's a diff- did you miss me or did you miss what I did? I missed what you brought to the table. Touche. Thank you. You're welcome. Because I still did talk to you. We just didn't talk on the show. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one's got to go. We're talking. And it cannot be me. <laughs> Um, one's got to go. Ozzy, the co-host, the Killmonger conversation. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, um, the, the McBurglar, um, or, uh, Carl's Jr. <laughs> oh, man. Or, are we, Ar- Arby's, Oz, or... 
Well, shit, I really love Arby's. Or four for four. <laughs> you know, everybody loves a four for four. Oh, Jesus. Or Domino's. Um, or Domino's. Um, no, you might be Domino's. Um, one's got to go. So we're doing origin stories. <laughs> one of these, <laughs> one of these origin stories um, has to go. One of these origin stories was never created. Um, obviously, Oz, you have Brightburn and Man of Steel. So I'm going to take those two and put them in your one's got to go. So Man of Steel, um, Brightburn, Black Panther, and let's go with Iron Man. Iron Man. Really? Yeah, I, 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 I don't – I hate that – I hate arrogant – that arrogant junk. Like Black Panther was this good for a lot of reasons, um, for a nation, for whatever. A bright burn would just makes you hungry to like, oh, that's not right. You can't do this. What, what, what's going on? You know. So I, yeah, I, yeah. Okay. Wow. I didn't see that coming. All right. Cool. Tony Stark is. Uh... I was, I'm never a big fan. I was never a big fan of Iron Man, Tony Stark, or. Robert Downey Jr. So I, my favorite Iron Man story that I can probably think of, if there ever was one, was when um, he was paralyzed in his suit and Ant-Man had to save him. Okay. Um, All right, so there's the one's got to go. Iron Man was your choice. And uh, he's the origin movie that you said never existed, which means the MCU never happens. I mean, and I feel like they were still form or whatever, but yeah, I'm I'm okay with that. It's fine. Okay. Uh, so let's get to our main course. We gave our, our bottom two, our five and our fours. Uh, Oz, yours were Brightburn, Brightburn, Brightburn and Man of Steel, and mine were Shazam and Spider-Man. Oz, what is the next movie? Uh, what would be your number three? What would be your middle ground that wouldn't make your top two? What's your number three? Well, we said um, Man of Steel, Brightburn, and then I said Conan the Barbarian. That's your that's your third. You don't have to give your top two yet, but that's your third. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, good. And I didn't mean other two, right? Yeah, not yet. Not yet, though. I know. Okay. Uh, so Conan is your is your mid tier. That's your that's your mid that's your mid tier. Your top five. Um, I love it. So what about Conan? Really stands out. Like that's a, that's obviously a classic movie, and I, I think a lot of people would think the first one's a little bit slow. Uh, so what about the first one? Really stands out for you. Who cares if people think it's slow? It's I, I, I'm, I'm, it, it, just, it, it, I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you the critiques be, of it. Not, you don't have to worry. You don't have to be bashing the people just because be they have critiques of it. But, but really, uh, not to be religion, but who cares? It, it's an origin story. It literally is from him as a child to him becoming king of, like you know, of Samaria, uh, Crimea. Like the, it's an origin story. But what is it? Why? What, 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 Okay. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Um, what, what, what stands out to me that you think right? Um, I, I love that it's a. I love to see the transition of time and to see his growth, and you literally see that. So, what question were you answering the first time? If that's not what you answered. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Great. Uh, welcome back. Uh, my number three. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Mr. Carter. No question. My number three is Man of Steel. Um, I think it's a it's a very it's a very divisive film, but I think it's just got a lot of great scenes, a lot Why of great character. Uh, well, you know, there's there's a good amount of people who are just not fans of it. There's there's a good amount of people who just are not fans of Zack Snyder's style. He's got a very distinct style. It's a darker tone. And I think it was... And, you know, so I think I think Zack, this, in this movie, is probably the most interesting Superman has ever been for me. So um, I think Man of Steel is fantastic. Out of what Superman have you... To counter that, I'm just curious... Um, any Superman story from Justice League Unlimited, any like 
super the death of superman all-star superman these are i'm I'm basing this off of movies that is um uh, even, even um christopher reeves his superman or whatever yeah i i mean they're good movies but superman is this godlike character who shouldn't have any issues to me he's like the flash you should have no issues and you have way too many hmm. and, I, and that's why i just i don't rock with him like that so Man of Steel really humanized him and kind of it brought up questions that I hadn't thought of. And maybe these were answered in other stories and comics that I haven't read. But like, what if the dad is telling him, you know, you can't you can't just go around saving people because I don't want people knowing about your abilities. Like, Mm -hmm. that's a real conversation that somebody might have and they wouldn't be wrong for that. Um, So it's it, it, it to me, it felt real like that felt like what a real parent would those are decisions and kind of battles you would have to kind of decide upon and you would have to base it depending on what's going on so yeah that that movie to me really stands out and some of the best Hmm. visuals you're gonna find in any comic book movie period the opening on krypton is one of the best openings in a comic book movie it's just a fantastic opening okay Okay. Um, what about your top two, Oz? Um, top two. Yeah, I gotta. I gotta think a little bit more about this one. Um, top two comic book origin movies. Mm. I think the Dark Knight Begins is a great one. Um, for for one of them. And so my you mean, other you one, mean Batman Begins? Yeah, Batman Begins. Thank you. I th- um I think that's awesome. It's stellar. Um, man, yeah, uh-huh. I, I think I think Batman and Superman, Batman Superman Apocalypse is a great origin story for Supergirl. Wow. Okay. Was that was that too far out there? I mean, it, that's out there. That's a listen. This is your list, but I think that's a reach. Okay. I mean, I, but this is, I'm. Have you found a better origin story for Supergirl? For for Supergirl, no. Uh-huh. No. Okay, cool. But, but yeah, that doesn't. Works. But but just yeah, because then, I haven't then, found then, a then better then we, origin we, we story for Supergirl doesn't mean that that's that I think that that should deserve the top spot as the best origin story of all time. No, not at all time. But, but just what I'm thinking. Like, I like I like the Batman one. Um, I have um, I. Man. It's fine. You don't have to change your answer because I critiqued it. You you always critique it. Um, I do. I like the I like the Batman begins. I think that's a great pick at number two. I, what are your two? Well, I mean, no, a Batman vs Superman Apocalypse is fine. I, it is a good uh, origin oh, story oh, for oh, Supergirl. Oh, oh, hold on, what are your two? Uh, Batman Begins is also my number two. I think that's a just a great story. Christopher Nolan changed the game. Um, Iron Man good. is my number one. Uh, so I, bad. And and the reason is I just watched it and it still holds up and it's still fantastic. It's it's a great movie. Terrence Howard would have been a great roadie in the suit. Nah, I, I they have a great chemistry. Like I know they I hated know. each other on set, but they have a great chemistry. They play off each other like really well. And and you got to think this movie came out before Iron Man really laid the blueprint for the origin story. Next time, baby. Oh, that's a great uh, line, though. That's a great uh, line. Jesus, dude. Hey, I, so, but yeah, so Iron Man is my, I think Iron Man is my, my favorite origin story. Um, some some honorable mentions, Blade, Deadpool, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Obviously, those are going to be my some of the runner-ups. Oh, yeah. Guardians that's of the good. Galaxy is another one I think should get some love. Um, it's a good origin story of the team. X-Men First Class is a very good origin story. Hey, have you watched New Mutants yet? No. Honestly, I don't really have an interest in it. Okay. I, I'm not saying I won't watch it, but I'm not really, I'm not in a hurry or press. Um, 
So, Oz, are you sticking with your Batman Superman Apocalypse pick at number one, or are you changing it? Because you sounded a little on the fence before I went. No, I'm going to keep it. I like to mix things up a little bit. I'm going to keep it. Your list is very different. Yeah, I know. You just don't like it. No, no, no. no. I I, I don't hate it. I just wasn't expecting it. You weren't expecting it. That's what I like. Yeah. It's not that I don't like it. I just wasn't expecting it. I think that Conan's a good choice. I, I do think the Batman Superman Apocalypse is a bit high. Um, but I, I appreciate you bringing that up because that's, that is thinking outside the box. That's a different pick. So I like that. Um, mm-hmm. let's, let's, let's see what the social media says. I posted this on Twitter. We got a little bit of a few responses from our good friend, Evan, the great from the villains, the man number one, captain America, number two, Batman. I'm assuming Batman 89, maybe. Yeah. I'm assuming Batman oh, 89. Wow. Or maybe, Batman Begins, okay. but maybe okay. Batman 89. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. So, Evan, let us know which one it was, Batman 89 or Batman Begins. Number three, Iron Man. Number four, Spider-Man. Number five, Wonder Woman. Um, hmm. AJ, AJ Farron, I at AJ Geek Vibes. Uh, he said Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Man of Steel, Joker, X-Men First Class, Wonder Woman. Hmm. JVD of also the crossover collision and villains the man he says in no partic- in particular order Spider Man Iron Man Batman Begins Ant Man and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1990. Now hmm. uh, his his honorable mentions V for Vendetta <laughs> The Crow Joker Doctor Strange. The Crow is good. The Crow is good. I like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles pick a lot. That is a very good origin story. Uh, Old Man Wade at Old Man Wade said Deadpool, Spider Verse, Captain America, Batman 1989, Man of Steel. Uh, Homeowner since 2006 said Blade, number one. Number two, Black Panther. Number three, this is an interesting pick, Venom. Number four, Hmm. Captain America. Number five, Iron Man. Um, seems the people like Iron Man a little bit more than you do. I know. Guys. You know the people, dude. Um, well, I mean, not necessarily. I don't, a lot of these people don't have Iron Man number one, though. You know, it's, he's kind of in that mix, but he's, I think I'm the only one I've seen so far that has him as number one. Um, Silent Night 39. I like that name for some reason. Number one, Batman Begins. Number two, Superman. Number three, Spider-Man. Number four, Iron Man. Number five, they have a tie with Wonder Woman and Man of Steel. Hmm. Oz, um, before I get to the Facebook group where we had some more uh, lists, what do you think is the most overrated origin movie? Hmm. Maybe the Incredible Hulk. Oh, do people like that movie like that? Like, is that a movie that's usually loved uh, you know, like people, that? People, people like the Hulk, and yeah, but it's it's one of those. But I think, um, man, another one. I feel like Shazam was a pretty overrated. Um, oh, you coming at my list? <laughs> yeah. Pretty okay. Much. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to stick. I want to stick with that. Okay, you think Shazam's overrated? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. What 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 reason do you think? Like, what's your what's your main beef with Shazam? It was too. It was too wholesome, and a lot of things didn't make sense if you were that magical and powerful. Okay, I mean, he's a kid, but I got you. All right. Um, touche, touche. Uh, so. Like I, like I mentioned, we do have our Facebook group, and we've been posting a few things to get the conversation going. And I asked this question, what are the top five origin movies in the Facebook group? Uh, our good friend J.D. Oliva. And also, the Pro Wrestling Showdown, PWS, is back. Make sure you check us out. It will be on this stream, so don't worry. We'll be coming bi-weekly. We'll be giving you updates on wrestling, AEW, NXT, All Japan, New Japan, NOAA. You're going to love it. We got a whole new format. Really looking forward to it. Cheap plug. Um, Shout out to JD. JD says, number one, Superman the movie. Number two, Iron Man. Number three, Batman Begins. Number four, Guardians of the Galaxy. Number five, Captain America, First Avenger. 
Uh, Gina, Mrs. Movies with Migs, uh, says number one, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Number two, Iron Man. Number three, Avengers. Number four, Wonder Woman. Number five, Batman. Okay. Uh, our good friend Steve from Nerd Cantina said number one, Iron Man, Shazam, Captain America, Blade, and Constantine. Uh, Blade is very good. Blade is a good one. Constantine movie. is great. Yeah, Constantine. That's the first Constantine pick right there. And our good friend Movies with Migs. Make sure you go follow that page on Facebook. Follow them on Instagram as well. Uh, he's always posting good content out there. He's been posting some good food out there here on Thanksgiving. The food looked good, Migs. Shout out to you. Um, Iron Man, Into the Spider-Verse, Batman Begins, Deadpool, and Man of Steel. Mm. Um, so Oz, after hearing everyone else's picks and, um, just kind of what the people have chosen, what do you think is, I asked about the overrated, what do you think is an underrated origin movie? Underrated origin movie. Oh my God. Um, well, you should have known that was coming since I asked about the overrated. How about Ghost Rider? Huh. Another direction I didn't expect you to take. Okay, what about Ghost Rider is underrated? Why do you think... Why, well, two questions. Why do you think people don't appreciate it? Uh, and what should they appreciate more? Well, there's more. There's like either Nick Cage screwed it up for people. Hashtag but, leave um, Nick alone, by the way. Yeah, but but I think it's a redemption story. And he's just like... um, Yeah. Yeah, I, think, I, I, I just appreciate a, rede- a, a good redemption story. That's just me. Okay. Um, I, I didn't expect Ghost Rider. Um, you know, I I don't think it's a movie that's on anybody's radar. So, I, I Oz, I really like your list. I, I know I, I crack some jokes at it, but your list is very diverse. It's got different flavors. You got a little bit of animated in there. So, um, I, I, I kind of like what you've comprised through. Even with the Ghost Rider pick, uh, I don't agree with the Shazam thing because I think Shazam is – Shazam to me is one of the more underrated movies, but no, it's okay. Phil likes my list too. So <laughs> Phil probably does like your list. Um, and, and please let us know anyone on Twitter, uh, you know, let us know what you think about our list or on Facebook in the group. Let us know what you think about the list. Um, as far as underrated origin movies go, um, you know, I, I, I don't think Blade gets the love it should get, you know, uh, I know. Blade first, is black, first black superhero too. And it's it's a groundbreaking movie on a lot of levels. And along those same lines, I think X-Men um just the first X-Men from Brian Singer, that movie, I mean if that movie's not a success and doesn't do well, I don't think we have this extended universe and we get all the great things we've been able to get. So I think those two movies are really underrated as far as the origin story goes. Um, what's the worst origin story? I just told you what the worst one. Um, oh, the worst one. Yeah, what's the oh. worst origin movie? Green Lantern. Oof. I think I got you top, though. Oh, hey, by the way, Trash Daddy said he just sent something in 30 minutes ago. Are you are you are you are you, are you contacted Thrash Daddy, huh? Hey, he hit me up, dude. I, I just I just all right. Let me let me. Hey, look, touche. Let me. You should have told him to call and leave a voicemail and complain about it. Um, I, I will tell him later. So. Nah, I'm a I'm a. Let me. Oh, yes, he did. Here we go. Well, impromptu. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hey, impromptu email from Thrash Daddy. Um, here. Okay, you you called it, Oz. He did send in an email. We're going to take a, a, a quick diversion before we wrap up our, our – well, actually, let's, let's, let's go ahead and wrap up our – Yeah. Let's go ahead and wrap up our origin story. We'll end it with the email. Then we'll go to our final blow. Um, yeah, and so my worst origin movie is definitely Wolverine Origins. I think that movie yeah. after the first five minutes is god-awful. Um, Deadpool is just stupid. I mean, I just, I know Deadpool's the easy target, but outside of Deadpool, it's just a, not a good movie. Yeah. You know, and they tried to manufacture the old the old couple to kind of be what snaps Wolverine and turns him into this killer and it, it's it's just not a good movie. So I 
I, I, you know, I don't hate Green Lantern as much as most people because I think Ryan Reynolds could have been in a better movie and really good Hal Jordan. And I don't think he's the problem. But no, no, I think the movie was a problem. Like it's just a, it's just a poor origin movie. Yeah, I all. agree. I definitely agree. It's definitely in the in the conversation. Um, so Oz, what do you? What would you like to wrap up with? What origin movie? Last question. What origin movie would you like to see in the future? One from Marvel, one from DC. Hmm. Whose origin story would you like to see told on the big screen? Origin story on the big screen from Marvel or DC? One from, no, um, one from each. One from each. Yeah, I'm going to make you work. DC, I would probably like to see... Um, I mean, it'd be cool to do a Plastic Man one. Oh, okay. And then for Marvel, um, yeah, that's a that's a that's a good tough one. Marvel uh, would probably be <laughs> I, was they, I was gonna say they need to do a good Professor X his early years. Oh, they kind of did you know? though, right? I know they kind of they 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 did kind of do that. So. Um, we got first a good, class. A good origin story. Um, oh, you know what? They, they should do Storm. You could do Storm, which is a pickpocketer. The Storm, which is worshipped as a goddess. The Storm is like X Men. Okay, um, I'm actually going to piggyback off of that and say that the sequel to your Storm origin story should be the origin story to Gambit. Ah, uh, yeah, I get it. Yeah, I mean, it, it would be the easiest the way to just continue and, yeah. the. The story, you know what I mean, and, and build your universe. Mm-hmm. And obviously, you, your age, you would have to change the age a little bit, but I don't think that's that big of an issue. I think that's a very easy and natural way to kind of progress the story. Storm is a character that can carry a franchise, so I think that'd be a great idea. Mm-hmm. You know, you kind of have Storm as the as the lead and Gambit being the number two. That's a nice little squad to start off with, marching towards your eventual X Men group. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, very nice. Uh, so those are your origin stories. Again, let us know what you think on Twitter. Knee for Marvel vs. DC. That's the number four. Email us like Thrash Daddy. Even if we catch on mid-show, we'll breed them live at knee for Marvel vs. DC at godefylife.com. Join the Facebook group. Uh, like us on Facebook. Make sure you find us all on... Make sure you follow us and like us Everywhere you get, get your podcast, yeah, I'm get trying to. Everywhere you get your podcast, Apple Podcasts, Spreaker, Radio Public, our home hub, Defy Life Pods, where you get all of the Defy Life podcasts. Man, Oz, you're really throwing me off my game. <laughs> Dude, I love how I'm the blame for your in, 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 ineptitude. Uh, ineptism. Incompetism. That's better. Uh, so Thrash Daddy did send an email while we were recording so um hey guys life has been crazy and i'd like to write more i <laughs> wanted to know from both oz and you scott wow look like looks like the regular thoughts has uh, carried over what villain do you empathize with and why oh uh, that's a good one oz no scott <laughs> scott please <laughs> Oh man, that's a good. That's a good one. No, it is a good one. Uh, a villain that I can empathize with. That is that is a good one, and that's a tough one. Man, I'm probably gonna get a lot of flack for this. So I can empathize with Lex Luthor and his kind of complex with how he feels about Superman. Why? Because Lex Luthor has worked so hard to just be the pinnacle of everything. And Superman just shows up and starts flying around and everybody loves him and he hates him for it. I, I know what it's like to be a little bit of a hater. You know, I, I can I can understand what it's like to be working real hard and somebody just comes in and swoops and takes everything from you. And you know you deserved it. You worked for that. You earned that. And you're going to make sure they get what they got deserving. They, you're going to get what they got coming. So I, I empathize with Lex. I'm not cool as long as it's not directed at me. So. No, 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 definitely not at you. No, 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 nothing like that. Well, no. I mean, I guess, man, um, I, I was going to say that I empathize with, um, uh, crap, uh, 
I mean, Oz, before you finish, I mean, let's, let's, let's keep it 100. We've all had a moment where we're like, God dang, dude, you know, I've been killing it. How this dude get it? And something. I mean, I, mean, I, I work out every day and you just, you're, you're, you're eating at McDonald's, dude, and you're still killing it. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm in the gym and you just sitting around and yet you, you I, what? Come on, nah, I, I feel that. It happens. Yeah. You can't yeah. live like that, but it happens. So I get it. Um, Man, I, I, oh, you know what? Magneto. Is Magneto still a villain? Like, is he a villain currently? You know, because because listen, you don't know when he's a villain and when he's a hero. So, is he well, a villain right now? Well, currently, like the rest of the, the mutant world has said, "Come in, you're an elder." But the rest of the world is like, "Oh shit, Magneto." Um, I, I've always just felt like, cause personally, I've always just felt like, man, yo, this dude has seen persecution for the most bullshit reasons whether it be you you be a Jew or you be a mutant and I, I, I totally understand where you come I'm like yeah man you have every right to do that yes go and the and the problem is that any, that, that whenever he's fighting mutants other mutants like X-Men or whatever or the government or whatever they never say oh we get what happened to you, so this is why you do that. They're always just like, this is wrong, you know? Okay. Um, uh, yeah, you know, uh, great question, Thrash Daddy. Um, put me on the, I, I'm, I'm sure if you ask me tomorrow, I might have a different answer. Because depending on the villain, when you go at him in comics, like when you're reading them, like they have different motives all the time. So there's a lot of different villains you could empathize with depending on what you're going through at a certain time. So, yeah, uh, you know what I mean? So it just depends on what you're at. So that's a really good question. And it might be one that we have to kind of touch back with, you know, like what, what villains do we empathize with the most and who have the most to actually, you know, kind of feel for and who, who don't, who get, who get a break that don't deserve it. You know what I mean? It's a good, it's mm-hmm. a good question. We might have to dive into later. So shout out to you, Thrash Daddy. It's a good thing Oz went and hunted you down while the show was going. That must be why it took so long during our commercial break. <laughs> uh, uh, funny. I am a funny guy. No, I'm not. Um, Oz, You're a fun guy. Yeah, I am a fun guy. Oz, it's uh, it's time for the final blow. It's It's been something with you back, man. It's 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 been different. I can tell you that. It's definitely been different. But uh, you're back in final blow. I got you all this come up here. My final blow. What you got for the final blow? All right, so the final blow is... <clears throat> Um, I'm glad to be back. I'm glad and thankful for this post Thanksgiving show to to be here and to do this, to express my opinions and to have people listen to what I have to say and chime in about it for good or bad. And most importantly, I'm very thankful to be doing this with um, someone who I care about, who I love, um, and we bicker and we fight and. Um, he may drive me crazy, but this dude has the most intense work ethic I've seen ever. Um, big shout out to regular director Scott just for being who he is. He's dope, dude. You do awesome. You do cool you, you know, and I hope you forever do cool you. Um, and that's my final blow, man. Glad to be back. 100. Keep it 100 for next week. Okay. Um, nice work. Uh, appreciate that, Oz. Uh, as far as my final blow, uh, you know, just uh, it was we got off a Zoom call before we uh, before we jumped on here with the family, so that was good to see the family and everyone doing good. Um, Oz, it was good to record with you again. It's the big one, the next show. 
the big it's one. It's the big one. Episode 100. This is your last chance to get your emails, your voicemails. Send them in. The next episode is going to be all about you guys. It's all about the listeners. It's because of you that we got to episode 100. Um, it's, it's Triple digits. It's Triple been a digits. long journey. It's been a long journey. We Triple started digits. with three. We got the two. I thought it was just going to be me, but Oz is back too. Um, That's so cool. Yeah. But we're, so, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're back. Welcome back. Oz, tell me one talk to him next time. And as usual, folks, peace and chicken grease. And that number is 804-518-6631. Leave us a voicemail, Twitter, knee for marvel vs DC at Gmail. Or, I'm sorry, at GoDefyLife.com. That's our email, and that's our Twitter handle. Facebook group, like the Facebook group, like the Facebook. Y'all have a good time, because we can have a good time. Until we talk to y'all next time. Peace. Peace. Welcome back. Welcome back. Mm. That's a dope beat, dude. I gotta, I gotta let this one ride. That's a good. That's that's dope, dude. Hey, look, people gonna be listening to this in their car. I can already see they moving to this joint. Nah, <laughs> hey, I'm this. I'm at the- Oh, man. Yo, this is good. Hey, shout out to Mace, man. We out of here. This is the Fire Life. Uh, you know, what you doing on a Sunday?